What's up, my devil? Since they tuned him here with another video for you. So this week we're gonna hit that Ethereum update again, uh, just because there is relevant information since the previous update. And you know, I know you guys like Ethereum, so if you like it, drop a like and a comment. Let me know if there's something else you guys want to see for next week. Go ahead and drop it in the comments, and uh, it could really impact what I'm gonna do for these public videos. So uh, speak and be heard. All right, let's go ahead and dive into Ethereum. So last week I left you with we were we were here and um, this is the exact count that I had for you. Um, and I we were literally right here. Let's see. We can zoom in just a bit. I think we were more, you know, we hadn't even we were in this area. Let's suffice to say. Right. And I said that there should be another swing down to complete this motive wave. What happened? Boom done happened you know that's it's one of the strengths of this theory right like this is not hard to determine this was very easy to see that this swing would happen right and you can certainly do that yourself um very easily uh by learning this theory so elliot wave theory that is um what why are you there little line okay <laughs> all right so this is where i left you and this completed and of course i did this analysis pretty much live on that video last week um you know i had stared at the chart for a couple minutes but i had not yet placed any labels on the chart um which is where you start seeing a couple things and immediately after i posted the video you know and during even the recording but you got to keep going this thing is a little burr in the back of your mind this was uh, sort of obvious and i posted um you know oftentimes when i do these videos um public or private you know i'll post the charts up for the guys in the, in the discord um and uh at least on the for sure the educational side and give you know maybe a little additional thoughts but potentially some alternatives because you can't talk about every alternative on these videos and i don't even do it in those charts but uh when they're relevant i certainly do now i want to go ahead and talk about that uh alternative so this would indicate um and this is still I, I, I'm between the two, right? Um, and we'll get into maybe what some others are potentially saying. But uh, this is still very much in the running. And I would say the other one, 50-50 um, at this point. So, But this one, we are finishing up this subwave three um, to of this larger three of C for a big old flat, right? truncated fifth up here um but but what sort of stands out let's go ahead and get rid of this and we'll go ahead and get rid of the count on the chart but again don't don't discard this um we'll at least get rid of that count we'll leave this one um no actually we don't need to get rid of that either hold on we just need to we're gonna need to reshuffle it so we'll replace it um what what else stands out maybe that this is potentially another one two finishing three right so that would simply mean whereas i had this one two three four five as an impulse in the other count and this is awful small potential one but we do have a corrective up to this side you know but maybe it's one two three four five right so the but the most obvious swings are this now of course the reason one of the reasons I probably didn't immediately point this out as I was looking at it live and I'm balancing the two options in my head last week is because, you know, this is a theory based on probable outcomes, right? So you project you can project into the future based on the past. And you know, when you're on the hard right edge, we still don't necessarily know what this is. Like we can come back here and say with a high degree of certainty what something over here is, or you know, narrow it down to a couple things that contextually would have evolved into the same thing, right? So the further away you get from it, the easier it is just to have account for it. But when you're here, it matters more because you know you're going to potentially be risking money. Um, and it is atypical for the third wave to be shorter than the fifth wave, um, especially you know when they're sort of like expected behavior around extended fifth waves of course it's an extended fifth wave within a projected third so that sort of goes to lend to this count because you don't necessarily need to expect to see the same behaviors um with an extended fifth wave 
at this degree within a third minuscule we don't need that we'll go to micro here change it to what do you guys think this green too similar this green too ugly this green just right uh actually but depending on your screen if you guys have a shit box screen you probably can't see that all right we'll just do this color okay um so this would then be thrown out here this would be thrown out here and then we have to up the degree and count this as a one two one two three four five three four five to finish the three so we'll go ahead and move this to dark blue Ugh, that looks ugly we're gonna move this to white bump it up to sub men no this is micro yeah sub minuet um so then you know the projection for this four doesn't necessarily change right it just means that there's potentially more to get down lower right and i'll caution you about doing this right this counting dillies as this sort of is i always like to say is hard it's really hard and anything that's hard to do <laughs> in these markets um you shouldn't necessarily put a lot of stock it should be everything that you like bank on should be easy right um but so what we'll do is we'll just have you know the what is easy is to think that it's one of the two of these right and of course of course there's always the potential that you're just totally wrong and this is a low but i mean is this the play is this the price action you would really expect to see if this was a major low before because just to put it in perspective i probably didn't discuss it last week i mean when this is completed this is another this is the major strength of elliott wave right so when you know that something is complete you don't necessarily know what's coming next but you have a a strong very you don't know exactly what's coming right but you have a very strong idea of potential outcomes so just being very simple here as we always should be if we see a corrective of this size of this magnitude should we then not see a motive wave off of it of similar magnitude what's a similar magnitude motive wave to this I don't know I listen I'm just throwing this out there it's not I think that projecting trying to do finite projections at this scale is really like a practice for fools and it's really kind of I think you know a, a really important part of uh, what early analysts believe is important um, but it's not um, what's more important is just identifying that this has completed when it has right so that you can take or even close it doesn't you don't have to nail it exactly you know even if you were had identified so far that you know maybe this far along and you thought it was done and you got in here and say it came down to here you know if you're you know long-term view if it gets out to here what's the difference right you'd be happy if you bought it here you'd be happy if you bought it here um so you know just the better you are the more you can refine it and being able to me the key and i you know any, I, I think that if anybody pays attention to what I'm doing consistently, they'll see that I, I nail a lot of pivots because I think that's the most important part of trading. I think that's the most important because it's the most reliable thing, right? And being able to do the most reliable thing is most important. Um, it's it, There's less guesswork, right? There's less guesswork. So the less you're guessing, the better <laughs> with your money. Um, so circling back to the count, um, in, in general, that's why this is important. We'll go back to the two hour. Um, it could be either one of these. And again, it, you know, we could just be completely missing the, missing the bell here. And this is the bottom. I don't think so. Um, and just the fact of this reaction with this potential extend extension, you know, this could again this could very well be even you know there's so many different potential counts there's no reason i can't discuss them all but this could be another even lower degree for and this could even get lower right that's why it's like why you know don't get attached to things and when you hear people say things like my count this it's not, there is no my count there is no my count it's the count or it's not the count right that's elliott wave um 
you hear somebody say my account that you're following, <laughs> get rid of them. You know, obviously you have to listen to the context, but you know, when they say it with like ownership, be careful. Um, so I would think that for me, this, you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are feeling very bullish with this reaction off the low. Um, I don't necessarily know that it's more bullish. And I'm not going to sit out here and project this, you know, high, high level of confirmation. You know, people always want targets from me. It's like, you're not getting them. <laughs> I like to I like to analyze in real time. Um, but this seems... Seems relatively reasonable. Let's see. All right. What we will do is throw if assuming that it do, is potentially this count, and based on the price action, honestly, I believe that it more than likely is. I will. I, I did this last week. I said I'm not going to project, but I'm going to project for you. Okay. So that ended there. So that's really right there. That goes there. All right, just sit back and listen to uh, the jams while I do a quick projection. Do you want to know how to get talk through these? That's not public videos, but it's pretty obvious. And really doesn't change necessarily the low, right? The area of the low as much. I mean, I've been saying this with Bitcoin and again, this chart, same, same Bitcoin, but you guys, you guys get enough Bitcoin from Sam. Like we're just testing the area of the summer lows. Again, like the same thing I said last week, it could be all the way up here. It could be all the way down here. But if I had to really give you the foolish man's projections to try and tighten it up I'm gonna give you that zone and at the end of that it's this you know and do you really feel like there's been enough pain for the low to be in on the market if you've been in crypto for any amount of time this has just been too easy there's been no there's been <laughs> very little pain and if you are inexperienced and you're like, no, what are you talking about, man? There's been a shit ton of pain. Eh, how long have you been in crypto? I mean, this just, this, this hasn't been that painful. It needs to, it needs to give you hope. Maybe that's what it's doing now to some people. I don't pay attention, so I don't know. It needs to give you hope and then it needs to smother that hope. And then it needs to give you hope and it needs to smother that hope again. Hope, smother, hope smother hope smother we go through this two wave fours at lar relatively large degree before the final shakeout that's about right just about the time that you think this shit's never ever gonna go up again just about the time that you're like oh, i'm looking at other stuff because i don't really care about this anymore that's when it's gonna rip your face off to the upside just remember that about crypto it makes you forget about it it crushes your hopes and dreams, makes you forget all about it, and then it crushes your hopes and dreams on the other side when you get out. So just remember that. All right, boys, I think that's it for today. Toot out.